Hello, Chad Fox with All Things Foxes. Welcome to our first installment of Fox Facts, Red Fox Edition. Number one, red foxes are the most widely distributed of all the canids. Red foxes can be found in almost every country in the northern hemisphere. They are the most widely dispersed of all the wild canids. Unlike domesticated dogs that have reached almost every country in the world for different reasons, red foxes have become a unique traveling species. They have crossed land bridges and continents, reaching places like Asia to countries like Japan, and they have even been brought into countries such as Australia, where they were introduced for hunting purposes. Number two, Japan has two species of red fox. Japan calls foxes kitsune, which translates to the word fox. There are two species of red fox in Japan, and they are intertwined into the mythology of the Japanese people. In many places and cultures, foxes represent an almost criminal element, being sly and thief-like. However, in Japan, the fox is seen as a symbol of intelligence, and in their folklore, the kitsune is a paranormal being that increases with wisdom throughout the ages. Number three. Red foxes have vertical pupils instead of round, which is similar to cats. Did you know that most foxes have vertical pupils similar to cats? Foxes are one of the only canids with vertical pupils. Red foxes have beautiful yellow eyes. Some red foxes with different color mutations have a variety of eye colors. Red foxes can see just about as good as a cat, and the two animals have many similarities. Foxes are much better at listening and can hear noises a hundred feet away. Despite the similarities, foxes are related to dogs and not cats. Number four, red foxes have multiple color morphs. Red foxes have multiple color morphs. They can be a variety of different colors due to mutations. There is your average red orange fox. Then there are melanistic red foxes that appear silver and black, all black, or a cross of red and black. This is due to the melanistic mutation. Black foxes are fully melanistic, while cross foxes and silver foxes are only partially melanistic. The opposite of melanistic is albino, and albino red foxes also exist. Number five, red foxes are omnivores and eat a variety of small game mammals, vegetables, and fruits. Red foxes are omnivores. They eat a variety of small game such as rodents, rabbits, and birds, as well as vegetation and fruit. During the spring and early fall months, they eat berries and other vegetation. During the winter, they rely more heavily on rodents and small mammals. Red foxes keep food stored away in their den and food catches. Exactly what a red fox eats has a lot to do with what is available to them in their area and territories. Number six, red foxes are one of the 12 true type species of the Vulpes genus. There are 12 true type species of foxes in the Vulpes genus. The red fox is the Vulpes species of the Vulpes genus. The fox is a very old animal that separated from his wolf relatives many moons ago. Red foxes are very different from their canine cousins. They have a more unique and cunning hunting style, for example. A wild dog will run an animal down, shaking it in its mouth from left to right, while a fox waits quietly and then pounces down on its kill, delivering a death blow. Number 7. Red foxes can run up to 30 miles per hour. Red foxes are very fast. They can run up to 30 miles per hour and can cover a lot of ground if they are migrating or traveling. 
A red fox weighs between 15 to 30 pounds and is over 3 feet long. They are lightweight enough to move very quickly. Red foxes are also excellent swimmers. They can swim out and around points of water quickly. Most of the time when I have spotted a red fox out in the wild, they are crossing a fence or a road at full speed. Number 8. In the wild, red foxes only live to be 2 to 3 years old. Red foxes do not live very long in the wild. The average red fox lives to be two to three years old. There are many predators and threats that a fox must endure to survive longer. A red fox that lives past three years old tends to live to be six to eight years old due to it surviving the toughest parts. They become more mature and learn how to stay alive through their experiences. Many foxes die from accidents such as falling or breaking a bone. The older mature foxes will sometimes suffer from injuries and other health problems. Number 9. Red foxes are monogamous and will mate for life. Red foxes are monogamous and mate for life. Most foxes will choose one mate that they live out their lives with. Red foxes have litters of 5 to 8 kits. The male red fox kits will stick around for about 10 months before they head off to start a family of their own. Females will sometimes stick around to help raise the next litter and stay in a parental role until they go off on their own. Red foxes are born blind for around 12 days. The female vixen takes care of them for the first month inside of the den. At number 10, y'all, red foxes use their tails as communication. Red foxes have learned over time to use their tail for communication. Foxes have several forms of communication, such as tail signaling, fox calls, and chemical communication. A red fox will signal to a family member that danger is near by extending the tail. Hair will stand up on a red fox's back and on the tail when they are threatened. Foxes are complex animals that can be social, Using their tails to signal different emotions is a common trait of a red fox. Well, that's it for today, y'all. If you've enjoyed this video or found it interesting, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Also, check out allthingsfoxes.com for more awesome fox content and fox shirts, coffee mugs, and more. Until next time. All